It's good to be here. Uh, I've been in this area a little bit lately. I've been traveling around some of the smaller towns. I was over there in uh, Digby a little while ago. I, yeah, I checked out the St. Patrick's Day Parade in Digby. You ever been? <laughs> Just a bunch of guys in a green minivan. That's it. <laughs> One guy sticking out through the sunroof throwing on Lucky Charms. That's all the show. It's good to be here in Halifax. I went over to the uh, mall there. Check that out. Went and got some fast food. I like the fast food. Although they say for every fast food meal, it's so bad, it'll take off 10 minutes of your life, right? But I figure it's fast food. I'm saving at least 15 minutes by eating it. <laughs> for every Big Mac I have, I'm gaining five minutes. I'm gonna live forever. <laughs> Some junk food's a bad idea, I think, like that cotton candy, don't you think? Because it just makes little kids want to eat pink insulation. <laughs> God forbid they get into the attic. <gasps> we scored. <laughs> but my mouth is itchy. <laughs> I saw a little kid bang his head in the mall today, too. That was a treat, right? No, no, just because when they're really small, you know, and they haven't hit their heads enough to know that pain immediately follows. So there's that weird pause while they're figuring it out. You know what I'm talking about? It's like, whap! <laughs> and they put that pause in on purpose, right? It gives the parents just enough time to yell, get down, this kid's gonna blow! <laughs> But I had to go to the mall there because I had to get my contact solution right, and because uh, I've got the contacts. I don't know if you can see that, ma'am. Uh, and it said on the bottom of the bottle, it said for sensitive eyes. And I thought, that's pretty good. I'll take that one. I, I seem to have quite sensitive eyes. And I was thinking, geez, doesn't everyone have sensitive eyes? I mean, is there a contact solution out there for rugged eyes? Just a big bowl of acid or something. Some steel wool. I don't even take them out anymore. I just scrape them off, you see. I've got the rugged eyes. Actually, I wanted to go get that laser eye surgery, but I couldn't afford it, so now I just go play laser tag and try to get shot in the face. <laughs> it's coming along. But I went to the mall because I needed to get a toy for my nephew, right? And I didn't want to get him a gun because then they just play murder, right? I don't get that. We don't get him other toy crimes to play with, you know? You don't get him like a miniature drug kit or something like that. Look, Mommy, I can't find a vein. <laughs> Some sort of pimping board game or something like that. You turned the trick card, give me my money back. <laughs> oh, but I had to go to the washroom there in the mall. Oh my goodness. You ever have to go into a public washroom and you're in there and you're trying to get some toilet paper out of the dispenser, but for some reason they've got like the dispenser cranked up way too damn tight. So you only get like one square at a time. You're like, oh jeez. Or sometimes it's so tight you only manage to get what you pinch between your fingers. So, oh, thanks very much. Doesn't help me with my objective, but if I cut myself shaving, I'm ready to go. And what is going on in the guys' washroom? Seriously, guys, seriously, guys, we are not working as a team anymore in there. It is a mess. Like what, are you doing jumping jacks when you pee? <laughs> At this point, we might as well not even have a toilet, right? Let's just have a room where we go piss on whatever we feel like. <laughs> we'll have things light up, we'll make it a game. Guys love that crap. There's one time I had to go into the girls' washroom because the guys was locked. Oh, what a wonderful world it is in there. It's all disinfected, you know, it smells of potpourri. It's little post-it notes on the mirror saying things like, you're pretty? Oh my God. <laughs> Bluebirds holding up the corners of the toilet paper in their mouth. <laughs> Never going back. And ladies, guys aren't washing their hands. They're not doing it. I'm telling on the guys right now, they're not. Oh, you know what? Sometimes if they see another guy there, they might do that half-ass little, yeah, I washed. <laughs> no soap, no scrub, and that's not doing anything. That's not being safe. You know what that's like? That's like wearing a condom during sex, but just rolling it over your left nut. You're not doing anything. Come on. And it's particularly unattractive. Trust me, this guy knows. Oh, yeah. I feel like I'm getting dumber. Anyone else getting dumber as they go along here? Yeah, one guy. Dumb, Dumb enough to admit it. I love that. All right. The only thing the problem is, is the spell check on the computer, right? Because now whenever I got to write anything out by hand, I've forgotten how to spell. So I, I got to edit what I say for easier words to spell. Is anyone else getting, going through that? It's like, thank you very much for your recent invitation. I was ecstatic, ecstatic, uh, happy that you thought of me. <laughs> when I received, received I, I before, oh, forget it, got your mail. <laughs> I immediately, immediately, soon was happy, good man. Love Roman, good enough. <laughs> Oh, man. 
And is anyone else using the same password for pretty much everything? <laughs> I got so tired with having to come up with new passwords all the time, I'd get angry. So I'd come up with things like, you know, like, screw you, Royal Bank. <laughs> really fun until you got to call tech support and they're like, oh, what's your password? It's, it's, uh, <laughs> screw you, Royal Bank. <laughs> S is in silly, C is in crazy guy. R is in regret. <laughs> I do like that thing where you gotta give a word uh, that the letter starts with so they know what the letter is. That's a lot of fun. You can have a lot of fun with that. And what's my username? Oh, my username, it's, uh, let's say it's K as in night. Uh, <laughs> P as in phase. <laughs> T as in tsunami. <laughs> G as in gnome. <laughs> and M as in that feeling you get when you eat a peanut, you know? Mm -hmm. The phone technology's out of control. Like, I got an earpiece for my cell phone because I didn't want the cancer. I wanted the no cancer option. I was trying to figure out how mine works because it doesn't have a little microphone on the wire. Mine just reads my voice through the earpiece, like through the vibrations in my head. Well, now I just sound slightly handicapped to all my friends, right? They're like, hey, Roman, how's it going? Opening the million by noon. Uh, Roman, are you okay? I don't know, what do you mean? We call an ambulance or something? <laughs> I have a friend who was somehow hooked up to the outside intercom of his apartment building. He's, he's hooked up his answering machine. You ever seen that? There's something very strange about just standing outside a building and hearing your friend's voice going, Yes, yeah, this is Tony. I'm afraid I'm not in. Please leave the message. Beep. I don't know what to say. I'm like, yeah, Tony! <laughs> because there's nothing to hang up. You know, I'm not holding anything. I can't hang up the damn thing. Well, I guess I'll walk away now. <laughs> Don't even cross the street. <laughs> he knows how much I hate it, too. So one time he left the outgoing message. There's Tony, uh, come on up. Beep. I don't know what happens to me when someone tries to get in uh, my building behind me and they don't have a key. Suddenly I turn into apartment security. <laughs> Afraid I can't let you in. No, it's against regulations. According to section two of the note pinned up on the bulletin board in the laundry room. <laughs> I know it's cold outside. I know you're my roommate. <laughs> you thought of that before you lent me your keys, huh? <laughs> Scary though, right? <laughs> Scares the living crap out of me. It's dangerous these days. You heard that phrase before? <laughs> Scared the living crap out of me? What does that mean, huh? As opposed to the dead crap? <laughs> you know, I think if living crap came out of me, <laughs> that's when the real fear begins, am I right? <laughs> Seriously, whatever I was scared of in the first place would pale in comparison to living crap coming out my ass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How about this phrase? Well, I'm just so energetic, I'm just full of piss and vinegar. Wow. If you find that you're full of piss and vinegar, next time label the bottles of your liquids. You've obviously made a tragic drinking mistake. How about this one? Oh, it's just so funny, I laughed my ass off. There's nothing funny about that. Imagine creating so much pressure during an extended giggle fit that the only way to have it released was to have your ass explode off your body. Like, no, stop it, you're way too funny. I can't hang on, oh my God. My ass off! You bastard, you're so funny! How about this one? Oh, that guy's so lucky he's got a horseshoe up his ass. It's not very lucky. In fact, that sounds particularly unlucky to me. Imagine all the things and circumstances that would have to come into alignment for you to actually get a horseshoe up your ass. You'd have to be near a horse while the horse is being shooed, and the horse would have to get spooked for some reason. On top of that, you'd have to be bent over, buck naked, in close proximity to said horse. And again, that might have been what spooked it in the first place. I'm not too sure. <laughs> Imagine seeing that. Imagine seeing a guy get a horseshoe up his ass and then laughing your ass off and nothing coming out but piss and vinegar. That would scare the living crap out of me. <laughs> Thanks very much. You guys have a great night. Bye-bye. <laughs>